Well, it's time to make preparations for installing the head unit back on the front of the ramp. So uh, what I want to do is I want to clean out, there's a lot of swarth in this groove right in here. And I can see where that could pose a problem, cause it to bind when it's turning. I uh, also don't want it to really get into this gear and cause premature wear. I noticed that there is grease on this gear, so I'm going to want to grease that when I put it back together. But for, and there's even swarf inside this middle part right here. You can see it all. Now, uh, the T-bolts that actually hold this on, there's actually a hole right here. And if you slide them over to the hole, you can actually pop these all out. And uh, the beauty there is I can clean these off because they have the swarf sticks to the grease. So I'll be able to uh, vac this out, clean this really well, and then just prior to reassembly, I'll, I'll regrease it. <clears throat> All right, I'll grab the shop vac. Whatever this grease is that's on here, it's almost uh, like solidified in some areas here. It's huh. There's also some stuff on the threads here. Some kind of gray stuff. I don't know what the purpose of that was. And the, the edges of the threads here that were exposed to the weather are rusted. I'm going to clean these up uh, in a more quick whiz on the wire wheel. One of these has a little damaged area right there. It's strange because it's almost like a little chunk taken out of it. It's not like a cut or a scrape like a, you know something from that, but it looks like it'll be right where yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I'll clean them up. Oh, that came out much nicer. All nice and cleaned up. Still got that little defect right there. I think I might just hit that with a file. Hmm. So it still puzzles me what that might have come from. Well, I don't want to get too aggressive on it, but I, I actually hit it with the grinding wheel and then wire wheeled it smooth. That's a pretty deep hole. I'm going to leave it right at that. I've taken the sharp burrs off the edges of the hole, so that's really all I wanted to accomplish. I'll tell you one thing, these aren't hardened, that's for sure. strap on there and I've got this rigged ready to hoist it got the shop crane hooked up and uh, hopefully we won't have any mishaps and I've moved the uh, I've swung the turret around and moved the ram out far enough so I'm hoping that I will be able to move the shop crane up along roll the shop crane here up alongside and uh, get this thing on 
because I really don't want to try and risk, lift it up and have it suspended over the the knee in the saddle and reach over and try and get that on. It's going to be, I think that's going to be more difficult. Might be wrong about that, but we'll try this. If this doesn't work, I'll lower it back down and reset. I had to mess with some cribbing and some blocking so that as I raised it and it tipped upside down like that, uh, like that right there, that it didn't uh, damage any of the handles. I took the uh, locking handle off, uh, the quill locking handle that was sticking out right here. I took that off, so that's one less thing I had to worry about when I was moving it around. But it was also putting pressure on this handle here to disengage one of the drives. This is just the brake, but you know, just because it's just the brake doesn't mean I want to break it off. But the speed control handle was my biggest concern because that kind of comes down on the side here. And when I was tilting it up, I was didn't want to put pressure on that. Right now, there's some pressure on the draw bar, but not much. So uh, I'm hoping this is shortened up enough. I had the strap wrapped more than once around it, but the problem was when I would do that, I couldn't get it to lift anyway near the right angle. As it is, this is kind of tilted back more than it should be, but I think once I get it up close, I'll be able to just manually muscle it into place. At least that's what I'm hoping. So, um, no, and all else fails, I might have to get some. Uh, might have to get some help down here. Actually, ask my neighbor to come down and give me a hand with wrestling this on. But for right now, I'm gonna move the camera position up a little bit and uh, raise this a little higher. Looks like I need to get 23 more inches of lift out of this thing. And I don't think that's going to happen. I've probably got maybe 18 inches more lift out of this thing if I'm lucky. So uh, I'm thinking maybe I should stop right here, lower this down and figure out how I'm going to shorten up this strap. Got the boom fully ex extended to the half ton position, which according to this can take a thousand pounds, so we should be okay weight wise. Try and roll this over this way to see whether or not. Oh, it's roll this over this way closer to see whether or not. I am going to even be able to get close enough to the, to the ram. Yeah, I think that'll work. It is going to be close. But I can actually move it in. If I move it in this way and then turn it a little bit, that'll help too. Alright, so now I can get a more accurate measurement. That's fine how far I need this to go up. So I need this top edge here to go to this top edge of the hole. So yeah, I was pretty much right on, about 24 inches. And so you can imagine, that's gonna put the tip of my boom up there at the ceiling. This, cylinder looks like it's a 20 inch cylinder and it looks like I've got 10 inches extended now so theoretically I might be able to move this cylinder up to here well you can't see it because it's off camera but at, at the point where the cylinder attaches, if I, if I lift that 10 more inches here, that's going to translate to a lot more lift over here. The question is, is it going to translate to that much? And I could probably do some trigonometry if I really wanted to get down to it and figure out exactly how far it's going to go. But I also can use my straight edge to 
guesstimate how much lift I'm going to get. Oh, that's going to be close. I'll tell you what, that's going to be real close. That's going to be real close. Tempting. Get another board under there. If uh, something fails and that drops, I don't want it to just free fall to the concrete floor. What will happen is it will hit those boards, more than likely snap those boards and break some things. But it might not be catastrophic to the point where I completely ruin the whole assembly. As opposed to if it just free falls and hits the concrete floor, I'm probably going to smash a casting, crack a casting badly to do something really horrendous to it. Let's see. Alright, I actually got a little too close to the... Uh, you know what, rather than try and roll... Rather than try and roll this, uh, this crane, which sets things to swinging, which I don't like. I'm just going to back the ram up. Oop, wrong way. There. Now, this head wasn't able to swing all the way around like this when I was traveling because no matter where it was, it would hit the table. Um, so I think I, I made a, a, a good decision and putting the head on now instead of after the table was on. Because I think if this table was on, I think it would just be in the way of uh, me attempting what I'm attempting here now. Okay, I am going to have to roll this because as, I, as I'm lifting, because of the angle, this is actually coming back further now. So I need to... Uh, I need to roll that back just a little more towards that back wall. All right. Battery's getting low. Hopefully, hopefully I can get this thing on before the battery dies. I must be just about nearing the end of the lifting range of this thing. That actually looks pretty good right there. Believe it or not, I think I'm a smidge high. Well, when I tilt it, it's going to go down. All right. Yeah, it's all fine and dandy except for one thing. I forgot about the grease. <laughs> Decided to use this multi-purpose grease. Okay. Yeah. That should take care of the, uh, the gear there. I'm just not sure if there should be grease in the groove that these ride in or not, because there didn't seem to be any grease in there. Sure seems like there should be some kind of lube in there though. Could have oiled it. Once it's together, I don't know how the heck you would get any oil in there. Alright, I got some uh, I got some of this oil that came with the machine to go on the ways. It's supposed to go on the one shot oiler. And I'm just gonna use that and oil this track inside here with that. Alright. Alright. I got the T bolts in. I locked out there because uh, I'm lucky that the strap wasn't in the way of that hole because I forgot about that they have to come in through the back here and I had just enough room to snake to, to, to get the bolts in through there to come out this hole. So I got the bolts in the track and I came to the realization that I have somehow managed to misplace the four locking washers and nuts that go on these bolts. So uh, I don't know how I did that because I had been pretty fastidious about taking all of the parts and putting them in separate containers and grouping them. And I think what ended up happening was, because this is one of the first things I did was remove the head, 
I think uh, I inadvertently left those nuts and bolts sitting on something and forgot they were there and probably moved the mill and they're probably on the ground out there uh, near the edge of the wood line where I had this thing tarped so tomorrow in the daylight I'll go look but I don't know it's been a long shot but as luck would have it I scrounged three not four but three nuts so what I'll do is I'll get this on tighten it on with three nuts that'll hold it until tomorrow when I can hopefully find the correct ones uh, or buy another one and then uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll take them off one at a time and swap them out put the lock washers and the nuts back on again if I can find them so now the trick is getting these to line up I guess so I think what I want to do is I want to tilt this back kind of dicey because if this were to let go while I'm tilting it back, I'm right in the danger zone. If I get the bottom one started, I get this bolt up here out of the way. I get these two to stay up here. I'm going in. Alright. Needs to go up higher. Oh, battery's dead. But I did get it on and I got a couple of bolts, nuts on there holding it. I'm going to bed. It's after 11 p.m.